Using Corteza is very simple and easy. You log in by entering username and password. In case you haven't signed up yet, you can use the link below to create a new user. Now you can enter your login information. Also, if you have forgotten the password, you can use the forgot your password link to change it. You click on request password reset link via email and you will receive an email with detailed instructions. Let's go back and log in. At the very first login, Corteza will show the application selector. In all the following logins, Corteza will show the last application you were working on before the logout. If, after logging in, you don't see the application selector, you can click on the application selector icon to make it visible. Let's take a short tour. The administration area allows you to manage users, settings, permissions, and every customizable feature of the platform. CRM Suite is a low-code customer relationship management solution. It is highly flexible and scalable. CRM Suite has been designed to make all the needed tools easily available and accessible. Service Solution allows you to keep up with customer cases, in a complete and easy way to use. Low-code allows you to manage the existing low-code applications and create new ones. Jitsi Bridge makes Jitsi easily available and completely integrated with Corteza. You can start a Jitsi call by creating a new room. With a click on create you will start your conversation. Finally, Workflows is the workflow editor to manage the existing workflows and create new ones. The new Corteza sidebar makes Corteza extremely simple and even easier to use and navigate through. You navigate the pages by clicking on them, but you can also use the search feature to find the page you are looking for very quickly. By default the sidebar is pinned to the interface, but you can also unpin it to work full screen. When you hover off the sidebar, it will disappear, and then appear again when you move the pointer back to the top left of the page. If you want to pin it again, you just have to click on the pin icon once again. 